Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123 and this is going to be a new books haul video. I've got some new books and in this video I'm going to show you what they are, tell you about them. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Um, by the way, I'm sitting in our hall upstairs and uh, do you like the wallpaper here in the hallway this is like literally my favorite wallpaper i literally would have this wallpaper in every room if i had the choice <laughs> maybe not every room but a lot more rooms than just the hallway um, and as you can see it's like book wallpaper like if i move out of the way it literally looks like bookshelves with books on i love this wallpaper anyway i thought it was quite apt to film here um, because you know the book theme and stuff like that Okay, so um, as you know, um, I'm a bookworm. If you don't know, you uh, you know now. I'm sitting at a really odd angle. I'm kind of like twisted round, but that's okay. It's it's fine. Um, See, so yeah, I read every single day. I read all different types of books. My favourite types are thrillers and young adults. But yeah, I read a bit of everything really. Romance, horror, um, you know, sci-fi, like literally anything and everything. But I do only read fiction. Okay, so yeah, I've got some new books. Now, really sadly, obviously, we're in lockdown here in the UK, so like all the shops are pretty much closed. Um, I really miss going to Waterstones, just like looking around at the bookshelves and like the tables of the books on and stuff. And just kind of like the whole vibe of going in Waterstones as well. Um, also, like the staff are like super friendly in there, so I always have a little chit chat with them. So I miss that. Um, but I've been like getting my books from eBay, um, which is really good actually because they have been a bit cheaper and free postage, which is always good. <laughs> um, and also, like Sainsbury Supermarket, I go in for like cheese and milk and end up with like a few books at the same time. And also, WH Smith. So once again, I'll go in for something else, like the post office or whatever. And then on the way out, I end up looking at the books. So there are still like a few places we can physically get books. But um, anyway, I'm rambling, aren't I? Sorry. So I've got a few here that I'm going to show you. And the first one is this one. And this is a book that I'm so happy to get because I've waited for this one for absolutely ages. It's called Bookish and the Beast. There we go. Look at that cover love this cover it's all kind of library themed cover here so this is number three in the once upon a con series uh, the first one i read that i fell in love with was Guy Carella. Uh, if you've not read Guy Carella, you need to read it it's oh it's just so good like it really is like mixture of like a fairy tale retelling uh, cosplay a bit of romance friendship like it's just really good fun reads uh, number two was called i can't remember I didn't like number two as much, like it was okay, but it wasn't as good as Guy Carella. Um, oh yeah, number two is called The Princess and the Fangirl, that was it. Um, but I'm hoping for good things with this one. So I'm not going to go into too much with this because it is part of the series, don't give any spoilers away, etc. Um, but I will say it involves um, an actor uh, and a girl who um, basically has to work in a library and they kind of hate each other at first. It's one of those kind of romances, those young adult romances where they literally hate each other and then they i reckon they're gonna like fall in love with each other i think that's how it's gonna go um also you've got the whole kind of comic con thing as well that they do and stuff like that so yeah i think it's gonna be really good i hope as i say it's gonna be better than number two right the next book i have um now this is cool actually this is like such a gorgeous cover look at this cover it's so cool can you see like the reflection um, on the water and stuff and oh it just looks such a cool cover so big hardback book also you've got the yellow sprayed edges which i love a book with sprayed edges i know i'm a proper bookworm nerd but i just love looking at like different color of the anyway <laughs> but loving that bright yellow so this one is called the sanatorium right so when i got this one i was like that's weird i thought it's pronounced sanitarium but I googled it and it looks like in England, that's how we say it, sanatorium, but in America you say sanitarium. Anyway, uh, it's obviously the same kind of place, but just worded differently, right? So this is a thriller and on here it's got a little comment from Richard Osman, who was the author of my favourite book of last year, The Thursday Night, Thursday Night Murder Club, which I absolutely love. And here's put spine tingling, spine tingling a must read. So good words from him you know gives me hope that this is going to be a good thriller um, i do love that when i see like comments from like authors that i really enjoy reading kind of thing like their quotes that they've give to the book 
um, it says you won't want to leave until you can't and it is by Sarah Pierce um, actually sorry I didn't tell you the author of that one did I so this one's by Ashley Poston there we go um, yeah so I've got my glasses here so I'll read uh, what it's about to you but yeah I've had this book on my want to read list for a while ever since I first heard about it so um, I actually found this in Sainsbury's for a fiver I was like really because this is like a big hardback and it's got the sprayed edges so I thought it'd be like 10.99 or something or more um, and it was just a fiver oh there you go it should originally be 12.99 but I got it for a fiver handy going to Sainsbury's <coughs> okay right so I'm going to read the side uh, here tell you what this is about everyone's in danger anyone could be next um an imposing isolated hotel high up in the swiss alps is the last place ellen warner wants to be but she's taken time off from her job as a detective so when she receives an invitation out of the blue to celebrate her estranged brother's recent engagement she has no choice but to accept arriving in the midst of a threatening storm Ellen immediately feels on edge. Though it's beautiful, something about the hotel recently converted from an abandoned sanatorium, sanitarium, um, makes her nervous, as does her brother Isaac. When they wake the following morning to discover his fiancée, Laurie, has vanished without a trace, um, Ellen's unease grows. With the storm cutting off access to and from the hotel, the longer Laurie stays missing, the more the remaining guests, guests start to panic. Uh, but no one has realised yet another woman has gone missing and she's the only one who could have warned them just how much danger they're all in. So to me this sounds really super exciting, really good thriller. But it also really sounds a bit similar to a book that I read a few weeks ago by Ruth Ware, one by one. Um, Ruth Ware is without a doubt one of my favourite authors, like she's such a great thriller author. Um, but it sounds a little bit kind of similar to that. On the back here it says it's really atmospheric, um, splendid gothic thriller, deliciously creeping, clever. So I think it's going to be a real kind of dark, suspenseful kind of um, thriller. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, so next up, um, I'm actually going to show you the book I'm currently reading, but it's also a new book because it only turned up yesterday. And the reason it's, you know... <laughs> here now because like, I had to read it as my next book I finished a book like literally yesterday and I'm only like a few pages in like I'm hardly you know I'm 18 pages in so I've literally just started it um but so far so good but yeah I've waited for this book for ages so this is by Courtney Summers who wrote the book uh, Sadie which I absolutely loved if you've not read Sadie you need to read it it's really good apparently there's a really good like audio book of Sadie as well so I mean I don't really like audio books but if you are into audio books Sadie's supposed to be really good on audio like it really feels like really like cool to listen to anyway but I don't I don't listen to audio books because I just end up falling asleep because I find them too relaxing <laughs> but I know a lot of people like them anyway so she wrote that and this is her new book it's called the project and how cool is this cover i love the way the girl's kind of just like in red and black and then in her hair section is like look the little house and the water and the trees there i just think it's such an artistic cool cover i love that um so yeah literally i've had this on my want to read list for ages i've read a few other books by her really good author there's still a few other books that she's done that i've not read so at some point i'll definitely read I don't know about you, but I'm the sort of person, if I like an author's writing style kind of thing, I'll kind of want to read everything they do. Um, so on here, it says, there is no flaw in you. So this is a young adult thriller. It's got a kind of cult vibe to it. I love. I don't know what it is, but I love uh, reading books and watching documentaries about cults and stuff. Like I've always found it really fascinating. Um, so I'll read to you what it's about. So um, it says here, the Unity Project, after a tragic accident, kills most of her family and leaves her little sister low on the brink of death. B. Denham is desperate for a miracle. It arrives in the form of Lev Warren, the charismatic spiritual leader of the Unity Project. He promises he can save Lo. All B has to do is believe. Lo awakes in the ICU to find her parents are dead and her sister has abandoned her for the Unity Project. The more Lo learns, the more she's convinced the beloved organisation is hiding sinister secrets. If only she could make B believe. Years later, when a man shows up at the magazine Lo works for, claiming the Unity Project killed his son, 
Losi is the perfect opportunity to expose the group and reunite with B once and for all. But her investigation will put her in the direct path of Lev Warren and he will make her question everything that she thought was true and all that she believes. So it says here, are you ready to belong? It also says Unity Project, stole my sister, murdered my son, saved my life. Um, it says here that you have been chosen. Honestly, as I say, I'm only like, you know, a few pages in, but already I'm just really feeling it, really vibing it, just really got that connection with it already. So I'm, yeah, I've got really good hopes for this. By the way, I have a new bookmark. Uh, probably really boring. I don't know, but <laughs> I just want to show you quickly. My new bookmark. I had to replace it. Uh, my old bookmark. Look, it moves. Oh, it's so magical. Um, I had to replace my old bookmark. I'm really sad about it because... I, I'm the kind of person I don't have like lots of different bookmarks like some people do I like having like the same bookmark that I use like all the time until they kind of start getting worn and a bit kind of like you know so uh, the other one sadly was starting to break and fall apart a little bit so yeah and I don't throw away my bookmarks by the way I'm very like sentimental I keep them in my drawer next to my bed they're like a little pile of them like the bookyard graveyard <laughs> bookmark graveyard sorry um but yeah this is my newest a bookmark uh, it's pretty cool it's like an angel with like a sword and stuff got it on ebay like one pound fifty or something bargain anyway i'll let you know uh, in my reading wrap up i do film my reading wrap up at the kind of end of every month or just at the very beginning of the next month kind of thing and so you will get to find out my you know ultimate view once i finish that but yeah really excited honestly i waited so long for that book to come out Next book, I want to say a big thank you to one of my viewers. Hey, Bookish Justine, how you doing? I know she's going to be watching this because she is very awesome and she watches all my book related videos. Um, she's a fellow bookworm. So Bookish Justine recommended this book right here to me. I was on a live stream. Whenever I'm on a live stream, whatever the subject matter is, I always end up talking about books because, you know, bookworm and all that. And she was like, oh, I really recommend this book to you and it's really good. You'll love it. So I looked it up and I was like, yeah. This does definitely sound like my cup of tea, without a doubt. So it's called The Boy I Am by K.L. Kettle. Um, it's had some really good reviews. Like I literally had a little sneaky peek. Because I don't know about you, but like, I don't like reading book reviews until after I've finished reading a book. Because otherwise, like it just ruins things. You know, like Sometimes you see spoilers, which really, really annoys me. Um, other times it could just put me off of a book, like reading someone's review. So I, I tend to kind of just go in blank you know of my own kind of you know views without listening to other people but once I've finished reading a book I like to go on Goodreads you know and, and just see what other people said if I agree disagree um but I did have a little sneaky peek <laughs> this one's reviews because I wasn't sure at first but people are really raving about it and bookies Justine said it was good so um it says here that if you like the power what's the other one Vox the power those kind of books I, I love those books so I was like yeah anyway I'm going to tell you what it's about so it says, Jude is running out of time. Once a year, lucky young men in the house of boys are auctioned to the female elite. And if he fails to be selected, a future in the mines awaits. Yet ever since the death of his best friend at the hands of the all-powerful Chancellor, Jude has been desperate to escape the path set out for him. Finding himself entangled in a plot to assassinate the Chancellor, Jude finally has a chance to avenge his friend and win his freedom. But at what price? So there we go. Yeah, it, it looks really interesting. Um, and if anything similar to like the Power and Vox, like I literally love those books. It says here, when power corrupts, tear it down. Um, they say we're dangerous, but we're not that different. Oh, sounds good. I love that. I love that kind of story. Right, the next one here I picked up from Sainsbury's. This is like really cheap. I got this for like three pound or three pound fifty or something. Um, if you're anywhere near a Sainsbury's and you, you know, do miss your book shopping, honestly, check out their book range. They do some nice new books and they're really cheap. So it's all good. And you can pick up your milk and cheese and eggs and that when you're there. <laughs> it even says on the front, look, exclusive, uh, dead good deals, Sainsbury's. There we go. So this is by Helen Callaghan. Callaghan? Callaghan? I think it's Callaghan, isn't it? Anyway. And it's called Night Falls Still Missing. Night Falls Still Missing. Uh, loving that kind of creepy cover. Love that like dark blue and the clouds. and Ooh, spooky and creepy. Um, so I've read both of her other books. Um, hold on, I'm trying to see it in bigger right. Oh, there we go. So it's Dear Amy 
dear Amy's the, the red cover there, which I really love. I love dear Amy so much. And Everything is Lies, which was also really good. So once again, I like that author. I kind of want to read other books from them, right? So this is her newest book, and uh, it says here, A Distant Island, A Freezing Night, A Missing Friend. Fiona and Madison have been best friends since childhood. So when Madison sends her an unexpected call for help, Fiona doesn't he hesitate to come to her aid. Madison, who is an archaeologist, works on a dig on a tiny Orkney island. I don't know, right? Call me stupid, right? But it's Orkney. It's either in Scotland, which I think it is, or Ireland. It's one of them. <laughs> Maybe somewhere else. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's January. There's a little daylight and the icy North Sea wind warns, uh, sorry, warns of a coming storm. But when Fiona gets off the ferry, Madison isn't there to meet her. And as she approaches Madison's cottage, she sees that the windows are dark Madison is missing and no one knows where she's gone. This book is supposed to be a gripping, atmospheric, dark thriller, filled with tension. Ooh, so yeah, if it's any any as good, if it's anything as good as her other two books, I'm gonna be happy because I love those books. Right. The next one I have, uh, this book is actually gonna be a film at some point. I don't know if it's gonna be a Netflix movie, normally isn't it these days? Normally books turn into Netflix films. Um, but this one says it's going to be starring Millie Bobby Brown, who is from, um, what's it called? Stranger Things. And I'm, I'm such a huge fan of, uh, Stranger Things. I hope the new series comes back this year. It's either this year or next year, isn't it? But, um, let me know in the comments section, by the way, if you're also a Stranger Things fan. Um, but yeah, I can literally imagine, um, Billy, Bo uh, Millie Bobby Brown in this character. When I'll read the back to you and I, I you'll just kind of see where I'm coming from, but, I think when I read this book, I'm going to kind of visualise her as the character. Uh, so basically, it's called The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. Loving the black and red cover. A lot of my books, right, that I own have got a black and red theme. Like, not all of them, but there's a lot. Actually, actually there's one here that I'll show you in a minute that's also got a black and red theme. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling so much, sorry. Uh, so it says, you think you know me, try again. Um... Okay, so this is another book that I've been after for ages and ages, ever since I first saw a picture of it on Instagram. Um, so it says, my name is, and all the names are crossed out here, Rebecca, Samantha, Haley, Katie, Ashley, Nora. Okay, so to understand my story, you first have to know about the girls I've been. That starts with, the, uh, with my delightful con artist mother, because I didn't choose a life of deception, I was born into it. Five years ago, I escaped and become Nora, who has a nice, normal life in a nice, normal neighbourhood. Until this morning, when I found myself at gunpoint in the middle of a bank heist with my ex-boyfriend and my new girlfriend. Talk about awkward. The first thing I thought was, get down. And the second, we're all going to die because I stopped to buy donuts on the way to the bank. And the third thing, I'm the only one who can get us out of here alive. Because the gunmen have no idea who I really am. That girl has been hiding for far too long. Like, I don't know why, but I just think this character is going to be super sassy and like, do you know what I mean? Like, just from reading that little bit, I just feel that she's going to be super sassy and I can totally see like that actress being her character kind of thing in a film. So, yeah, it's going to be good. I think it'd be a good read, hopefully, and it's going to be a good film. Hopefully. <laughs> um, OK, the next book I want to show you, um, this is one that I've uh, literally wanted for ages. I didn't know why I never got it before now, but anyway, I was in WH Smith, because I had to go in to get some bits and pieces in there in the post office, and I just happened to walk past the books on the way out, like you do, and I saw this on offer, so this was, what was how much did I pay? I think it was like £4 on offer, um, and I, I've took the sticker off now, because it was all, oh, you can still feel, I hate when they put stickers on books, it ruins them, but I managed to get it off, but it's left that kind of sticky stuff on it but anyway so i got it cheap this is the paperback version i, I did ideally want the um hardback version but it's okay it's okay so this is american dirt <coughs> sorry by uh, janine cummings and loving the blue by the way sorry my light's a bit grainy in this hallway but yeah it's really nice kind of rich blue on this cover but anyway um so yeah american dirt it's had such a good rate up like review like people really really like it so hopefully i will as well so it says here lydia perez owns a bookshop in acapulco and is married to a fearless journalist luca the eight-year-old son completes the family but it only takes a bullet to rip them apart in a city 
Um, it's sorry, in a city in the grip of a drug cartel, friends become enemies overnight. And Lydia has no choice but to flee with Luca at her side. North for the border, whatever it takes to stay alive. The journey is dangerous, not only for them, but for those they encounter along the way. Who can be trusted and what sacrifices is Lydia prepared to make? Whew, it says here, American Dirt shines a beam of light into a world where a mother's love for her son and the kindness of strangers might just triumph. Yeah, I mean, it's saying here that it's sold over like a million copies since its publication. Um, yeah, I, I really think it's going to be epic. I really do. I think it's going to be a very good kind of one of those books that will stay in your mind for, for a long time kind of vibe. So, yeah, I finally got it. Finally got it. Well, I've got two more books to show you. And I'm going to start with this one here. So this is by Vincent Ralph. There we go, hold it up properly. Um, loving the colour of this, the black and kind of neon yellow. And if you can see really carefully like in this light, there you go. You've got like little people there drawn and the lines crossed through. Now, I don't know if this is going to have like a paranormal vibe to it or it's going to be um, just a thriller. I know it is a thriller, um, but I, I don't know if there's going to have like a spooky element to it. I don't know. I could be wrong. It might not be a spooky book. I don't know. Um, but it's called Lock the Doors. Vincent Ralph I read a book from him a couple of years ago um oh it's called are you watching that was it and I really enjoyed it I remember being at the library one day and just like looking at the bookshelves in the library and I was just drawn to this book and I remember just loving it it's really really good thriller and I remember looking to see if he'd done any other books that I could find and that he hadn't and this is his kind of newest release so yeah I was like oh I've got to get it. I was really excited. He was one of my authors on my radar as such because I really enjoyed the other one. Um, but yeah, this is called Lock the Doors. It says here on the front, a perfect family, deadly secret. Home sweet home. Tom's family think they have moved into their dream home. His mum and new stepdad couldn't be happier. But Tom starts to notice strange messages on the walls and traces of locks on the bedroom doors on the outside oh it's so creepy um the previous owners have moved around the corner and they seem like the perfect family uh, convinced there is a secret to uncover tom befriends their daughter amy and at school only to find himself falling for her instead so a little bit of romance there as well uh, more twists and turns tom investigation takes the more determined he is to find the truth behind those locked doors See, are you getting what I'm saying? Like, is there like a little paranormal thing in here or is it just going to be this thriller? I don't know, but it sounds blooming brilliant, I think. Okay, so the last book I'm going to show you. Actually, before I show you the last book, just a few quick things. Um, I have a virtual online book club if you want to join. If you're a bookworm like me, um, come and join. It's called the Minx Book Club and it's on the Goodreads app, all right? So I'll put the link down below. Please come and join. The more the merrier. Um, the book of the month of February is anything like romantic and love, passion, that kind of thing. The Valentine's Day kind of theme. Um, I don't know what the book for March is going to be. I better put a post on, see what anyone um, has any ideas and stuff. But yeah, it's just really fun and it's nice to, you know, be friends with other booky people, you know. Um, so yeah, come and join that. The link is down below for the Minx Book Club. Uh, also, I'm now on TikTok if you want to come and follow me. Um, I do some, what is it? Book talks. <laughs> <laughs> book talk um now and again as well on there so it's at minx law 123 asmr on tiktok um you'll see me being very silly and like lip syncing and yeah tiktok is really annoying but like, i really like it at the same point um so yeah also on twitter it's at minx law 123 and instagram is minx law 123 and also i do have another youtube channel my bigger channel it's an asmr channel it's called minx law 123 asmr um, I'll put all the links, by the way, that I'm rambling about down below. But yeah, on the other channel, I do videos to help people like myself uh, with anxiety and insomnia and videos to help you relax, chill, sleep. So yeah, check out my other channel as well. Anyway, OK, that's enough of the advertisements there. It's now time for that last final book. And you know, what? I really would love you uh, to tell me in the comments section down below what book you're currently reading, if you're enjoying it or not. If there's any books coming out soon that you're really excited about, uh, any book series that you're excited about starting, um, anything bookish basically, just give me comments about books and I'll be happy. The books that I'm really excited about actually, well there's a few, um, I should do a video soon of books I'm excited about this year. Hmm, that's an idea. But the new Victoria Shaw book comes out on my mum's birthday actually in March, March the 4th. 
um i can't was it city of souls or something but that's her new like young adult kind of spooky ghost hunter girl and her family i love that series so i love victoria schwab and also huh, i'm so excited not till april um it's gonna be the new taylor jenkins read book uh she did seven husbands of evelyn hugo and i can't remember the other one. Oh, daisy and the six as well so i yeah those two are like my I really, really want them, but I know I also want the new Mortal Instruments book that comes out soon, the new Lee, uh, Lee Bard Goo book that comes out soon, so that there's, 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 there's books all the time that I want. <laughs> and what I do, by the way, like I, I kind of read them, and you know, unless they're part of a series or if they're really, really special to me, I keep them. But apart from that, I do sell them on, on eBay, like I keep them in good condition. Anyway, this is the last book, and uh, once again, it's that black and red theme. Uh, for books in my household so how cool is this cover like it is freaking awesome oh my days look at it it's like shining it's like sparkling now i have to be honest i'd not i'd not heard of this book at all like, i just i went in sainsbury's as i say looked at the book stuff and i saw this and i was you know i'll be honest it was a cover buy at first it was that that made me pick it up because it's it's just gorgeous black and red You've got the cracked mirror there with a the bright red lipstick and the bright red nails. It says ambition can be deadly. And I really like the title of it as well, like ruthless women. Hey, this is the best way for women to be ruthless. <laughs> it's by Melanie Blake. And apparently it's the book of 2021, says the Daily Mirror. I don't read the Daily Mirror. You know, I'm not really a Daily Mirror kind of reader. But, you know, it's nice to always see a positive comment about a book on the front cover. Um, but it says here, hell hath no fury like a ruthless woman scorned and uh, loving that red sprayed edges vibe. You know that I like that. Um, how many times have I said the word vibe in this video? Sorry about that. I just keep saying vibe today. Um, so let me tell you what it's about. And I'll tell you what, it sounds proper good. Like I literally think this is going to be just my cup of tea. So it says ambition can be deadly. Broadcast to millions from its picturesque location off the coast of Jersey, Falcon Bay was once the most popular soap opera, but with ratings at an all-time low, a new network owner, uh, Madeline Kane, arrives on the private island determined to do whatever it takes to get the show back to that number one slot. Uh, director Farah, leading Lady Catherine and producer Amanda are the driven, ambitious women who've been trying to hold the production together. But thanks to their sexy but corrupt boss, Jake Monroe, Farah is losing episodes to male colleagues. 70-year-old uh, year, 70 Catherine is terrified of losing the public's adoration and Amanda is battling her desire for a forbidden affair with a handsome new employee. Ooh, her missus. Um, as Madeline's pressure to revive the show intensifies, she unleashes a true battle of the sexes, where the women will do anything to stay in the jobs they love and on the island that they call home. Can they team up to bring down their rivals? Will jealousy, betrayal and revenge rip their friendships apart? Um, as the story reaches its shocking climax, one thing is for certain, only the most ruthless women will survive. And like... I, originally this was 12.99 i got this for a fiver in sainsbury's as well so i like, I got a bargain but yeah i oh, just think this sounds so good and i love the name of um what is it falcon bay it just sounds like a typical kind of 80s kind of soap opera or something was there falcon crest yeah there was a show back in the 80s soap opera called falcon crest i used to watch uh, it just kind of sounds like dynasty dallas a bit like joan collins vibe going on i don't know um, but it just sounds really, really good. Well, let's have a look. Oh, there's a list here of the players. Meet the players. Jake, Amanda, Madeline, Chad, Helen, Catherine. <laughs> this is going to be great. Yeah, I really... Me oh, there's more here. Honey, Aidan, Dan, Ross, Stacy. Yeah, this, this... Honestly, I'm literally... I wish I could read every book all at the same time <laughs> like I just got, some people read like more than one book at a time and I just couldn't do that I have to focus on one kind of story and you know I my brain just can't do that but there are people who read several books at a time and I'm like how do you do that like I'd love to do that but I just couldn't anyway that's the end of the video let me know in the comment section down below what book you like the look of the most let me know if you've got any new books or anything like that so I'm gonna go now thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it don't forget, please give a big old thumbs up on the video. I really appreciate that. 
uh, leave a comment share subscribe smash the notification bell to all notifications and if you want to become a channel member please do press the join button and you can become a channel member don't forget book club link down below join the minx book club and i'll see you really soon happy reading everyone Mwah. just gonna uh, take a book off the shelf <laughs> bye